you can see the sky. They're still working on the new plate. I don't like this part of Midgar. Back when they were still building Midgar, there was an accident, and the plate fell. People had only just started moving in, so there weren't a lot living there at the time, but... And that's? The underside of Sector 6, Wall Market. A real special place. But I'm sure you already knew that, right? I didn't tell you? I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. Don't know much about this place, or any of the slums. Well, it took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. So some traders built an entertainment district. Inns, shops, bars, the works. Folks started pouring in from all over. Business was booming, money was flowing, which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. Now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government decided to just wall it in. And that's how Wall Market began. Out of sight, out of mind, as the old saying goes. For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. Wanna see what's behind it? Not really. That's good. Because uh -huh. I know a better way to get to Sector 7. One that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was, back when I was a kid. It's been like this, you know, ever since the plate fell. And there's no other way? It'll be an adventure. I've got this. Don't you mean we've got this? It's on now. Go on! Let's go. What's that? A big arm. Kind of cute, don't you think? Uh... Oh, great. Someone's pulled up the ladder. <sighs> I wonder if we can use this. I'll hop on and you give me a ride. You serious? Absolutely. I'll throw down the ladder for you to climb up after. Stop. Did we wake it up? 
Bring it. Yes. You're done. Get him. That's it. You're mine. Ready? I bet you can grab that container with the arm. Not half bad. So do you moonlight as a crane operator or something? so tough. Lucky for me, you'll make this easier. Yes, ma'am. Well then, I'm gonna head down. Hold on a second. Gotcha. Jumping's not an option, that's for sure. Hmm. Look. 
Someone made a campfire. They found a way down. So can we. Try to stay behind me. That way I can cover your back. So it's my turn? Here it comes! Gotta go for it now. I think we're almost done. Just a bit. Too fast, okay? Got it. Anybody around? Guess it's just us. Hmm. It's still warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? I need to get back. Besides... Looky here, boys! Caught us some burglars! Coming into our homes and stealing our shit? Doing crimes? <laughs> I'd say we're owed compensatory damages. <laughs> Compliment, uh, composite, I don't get it. Ah, how stupid can you be? It's crazy simple. <laughs> compensatory damages is like, uh, it's like compensation for damages. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what you get when you, no, when somebody else. We uh, haven't done anything wrong. Yeah. We were just passing through. Oh, a likely story. Uh, okay, what do you want? Nothing but our due recompense, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> due recompense, due recompense, due recompense. Due recompense? Uh, no, shit for brains, due recompense. It's like, uh, uh, it's like, uh, 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 damages. Uh, uh, of course, so I recompense. I can't <laughs> I think we've heard enough.
there! Hey, you guys! Don't leave me! I'm coming! Random question, but why did you quit being a soldier? That is random. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Uh. Um, did you have any soldier friends? Any war buddies? No. Not really. Oh, okay. Huh? What we got here? Fresh meat to test our new soil. That's one. Yuppie! Yeah! Get him! Okay, Cloud, heading down. You're in charge of the arm. Got it? Gotcha.
Thanks for the lift. I'll have that ladder down for you in a sec. Pretty well. Sure did. <laughs> huh? Wait a minute. Did you just? Nope. Don't worry. We'll be on the same page next time. What are you talking about? I'm sorry. Okay. Hold it right there, lovebirds. <laughs> you are back to our territory. Then you gotta pay the toll. <laughs> Take me. I'll take care of them. You'll see. That'll do. We'll make it and catch. We made it. Smell the fresh air. All right, there it is. The gate to Sector 7. Looks shut. How do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No. I don't have time Up for... there looks nice. <sighs> Come on! time ago I used to sell flowers here oh yeah <clears throat> so cloud you were a soldier first class right yeah Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. <sighs> What's his name? I probably know him. Because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I'm bumming you out. We should go. <sighs> Gotta look forward, not back. Take long. <sighs> Ready. 
want to get to Sector 7 in style? This is the passageway for you. So... <laughs> Go ahead. You gonna be okay getting home? And if I said I wasn't? I'll go with you. I thought you needed to get back. <laughs> Don't worry. I have a backup route for emergencies. And it's safer, too. <laughs> Guess this is it, then. Ready? Yeah. going on? Shh. I'll explain everything later. But now I'm on my way to see Don Corneo. You should head back to Seventh Heaven, meet up with the gang. But... I'll be fine. You've seen how much ass I can kick? I have. Don't. You're going after her. She's a big girl. She can handle the likes of him. And worse. Uh-uh. You don't know, Corneo. It doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are. He'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to meet him? A mansion filled with his goons. Come on. Aren't you worried what might happen in there? You have to help her. <sighs> Okay. Come on, Cloud. We gotta hurry. to a girl earlier. Do you have any idea where she went? No, and if you don't need a ride, then get the hell out of here. Can't you see I'm trying to work? Can't say I can, no. What'd you say to me, you little... What's all the ruckus out here? Hmm. I don't know you. What's your story? We're looking for a girl who took one of your carriages. Can you help us find her? Depends. What do you want with this girl here? Guess. We want to save... Save her from a life without this handsome guy. Huh? So, that's how it is, huh? Well, I get a lot of customers. Hard to keep track of them all. This girl, what's she look like? Well... She's in great shape. Is that really important? Wait a minute. You talking about Tifa? That's her. <laughs> oh, looks like someone's got a bit of a crush. Hate to break your heart, kid, but it's gonna be a long while before she sees the light of day again. What do you mean? She's a real pretty girl. Corneo's hosting another audition, and Tifa was chosen as a candidate. An audition for what? for the title of the next Mrs. Corneo. She's what he likes all rolled into one sweet package. Having scouted girls for so long, I know his taste better than my own. And considering those tastes, I can guarantee you this. She won't be walking out of that mansion anytime soon. 
if at all. So where can we find this Don Corneo? <laughs> what are you asking for? Thinking of raising holy hell or something? Do what you gotta, but leave me out of it. I told you what you want to know. Now take a walk. <sighs> and there goes our best lead yet. <sighs> Maybe we'll have better luck in town. Let's check it out. Welcome to Wall Market, the pleasure capital of Midgar that's got everything for everybody. Couple, huh? It's all good. Play together, do your own thing, earn a little scratch on the side even. Whatever you're into, we got you. Got a special one-time limited offer. No, thank you. Come on, Cloud. Let's go. Relaxation, the sweet embrace of breeze. Shaped like everybody's favorite little <laughs> Nothing gets the blood pumped. <laughs> Check it out. I think we might have found our man. And he's a gaudy one. Yeah. Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Walmart, kid. Yeah? So? So people can't just walk through the Don's front door. Especially men. How about me, then? Can I go inside? Maybe. But you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute! Homely, but cute. Excuse you? Kinda cute's not gonna cut it. Come on, can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to kill. Denied. <sighs> if you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're gonna need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madame M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. Aerith, you sure about this? If you've got any better ideas... Not really. So that's the way it is. Hmm? Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. Huh? But to earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio. Right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! Johnny's coming, baby! <laughs> Not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope. I'll tell you a thousand times. Got nothing for you. Now scram. Wait, here's out. You're one of the trio, right? I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? 
pretty, please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time we'll be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Hardy recommended Tifa. She's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Corneo will pick Tifa? You never know, he might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Then how's about we play for it? Call it, Missy. Heads or tails? Yes, right. I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> yes, wrong, and you'll leave me in peace. Heads. Tails. You lose. <sighs> hey, don't look so glum. You're a pretty enough gal. Just not quite Corneo's cup of tea. But if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio and not just the Mio. Now skedaddle. Wait. Mind if I see that coin of yours? <sighs> Trick coin. I had a hunch. That's cheating! And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. really sure that you're a man of many talents but talking isn't one of them Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market, the Honey Bee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Uh, we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honey Bee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh, we don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required. And the earliest available slot is three years from now. Three years?! All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes. Well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare, but Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry. But there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else. Oh, I wonder if my honey girl got the flower bouquet. Oh gosh, my heart. Here we go again. There must be something to do. Hey, I'm talking to you. I said they're good. Pretty rowdy place. Hey, Chloe. 
sell themselves to the There's something down my Shit! Welcome, welcome. Just the two of you? Step right up. Now then, what manner of massage do you desire? Say what? Is this your first time in our establishment? Mm hmm We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain. It is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> And what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don... Oh, love of... Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. Uh. Uh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services... Then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well... <laughs> hmm... Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! <sighs> the strong, firm hands of a fighter. Yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. <sighs> okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? your way to the room in the back and wait cloud <laughs> this exclusive treatment is reserved for our most well-to-do patrons first the hand cream a generous coating for each and every one of your richly deserving fingers let's start with the tips. That's it. Relax. I'm only here to help. Oh, oh. oh did that hurt? No. <laughs> then I'll move on to the base of the fingers. Let's see if we can't improve your circulation and get that blood flowing. No, don't fight it. Stress is poison to the body. And finally, some gentle stimulation for the palm. No more than a touch. Just like this. Oh, what was that? A cry of pleasure? Is this how you like it? How about this? Or maybe this? <laughs> That was to your liking. Do come again. Right. <sighs> How was it? Huh? You okay? Yeah. You're acting weird, Cloud. I am? Really weird. Hmm. Think you'll make a habit of it? <sighs> All right then. I think I've seen everything I need to see. So? Tell me what you want. 
and we'll take it from there. You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. And why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm... Okay. Really? But you cannot go dressed like that. Huh? I could never send Corneo a candidate wearing such a plain-looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? No matter what I think? Well, I think it's pretty cool. Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, what should I do about the outfit? <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gill. So long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. There any prize money? <laughs> yes, for the person who got you in. So, what do you say? All right. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along. What have we gotten ourselves into? Nothing good. I wouldn't expect a fair fight in this town. Think we can win it all? That's one thing I'm definitely sure of. I appreciate the confidence, just don't get too cocky, okay? The doors are now open for tonight's Corneo Cup! Spectators, please inform the line and contenders from the left! Nothing gets the blood pumping like a Coliseum! What's this? You're here to compete? <laughs> I hope you know you're cutting it really close. So, the two of you are a team? Team? No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, mister. All right, team it is. Head to the waiting area down below. does this thing go you think I wonder how many people are fighting hey you're not nervous are you nope really you're even more quiet than usual just trying to focus like you should
<laughs> oh, <laughs> you again. Ouch, what happened to your face? I just needed a little scratch, you know. So I signed up for the preliminaries and, well, I hope you guys realize what you're getting into. I don't want to scare you, but if you can make a run for it, you should. Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. We're in way too deep to back out now. You two ready? Try not to get yourselves killed. For our next batch, we welcome two fighters. A young couple, no less. Talking about a bad day? And this is their first tournament. The bad first date. And most likely their last. Inexperienced as they are. Or are they? Give it up for Cloud and Eric! Bullshit. What's up with the pole? Gonna do a little dance for us, baby girl? Okay, now I'm mad. Zero, one of Walmart's own, a renowned master of beasts. Will his pets make a meal of our two challengers before our very eyes? They've already been given their appetizers. Their hunger for flesh and fear is unquenchable. The demon talks of hell. The Penguin Stalker! Ladies and gentlemen, who will prevail in this brutal contest between man and beast? This could be over in an instant, so don't even blink! Without further ado, the fourth match of the first round begins now! <laughs> 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 Well, that's one win down. Go team! Hmm. What's wrong? The rules don't make sense. Yeah, true. But maybe it'll be better in the next match? Nah. Wouldn't bet on it. Better to expect the worst. And Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. That's what they call beginner's luck. But the next match won't be so easy. Ready to rock? Just remember, try not to die. Through and through! 
Too criminal for common criminals. The worst of the worst. Ladies and gentlemen, check your pockets because they may have already robbed you blind. The most contemptible sons of bitches this town of Wall Market backs benefits. of the Corneo Cup semi-final. Begin now! No holding back. Yeah. Oh, take that! Here it comes. I did give him a massage, you know. His palm told quite the tale. He's cheated death more than a few times. Hmm. So have half the people in this town. Anyway, we're both still alive. Call him. <sighs> there you go again. One of these days, your luck is going to run out. When I fall for grace, Maybe I'll land in your parlor once more. <clears throat> that is one mistake I will never repeat. <clears throat> you gotta admit, Andy, the way he moves is totally amazing! Andy! <sighs> Next up, the big finale. Yeah. I thought you'd be happier. Just thinking about what we might face next. But you know, we've made it this far. I'm sure we can handle anything they throw at us. Cloud and Aerith. The final match will begin shortly. Please.
Make your way to the gate. Man, you proved me wrong. You guys are pretty good. It's the final match. You good to go? I've got a lot of money riding on you two. Win it for me. Ladies and gentlemen, our time together is almost over. Tonight's thrilling Corneo Cup, filled with unprecedented upsets and drama, has only one match to go! <laughs> we know. We're just as disappointed as you are. But ladies and gentlemen, all good things must come to an end. So let's celebrate by getting so damn loud, they'll hear us up on the flight! Yeah! Come on! Once more, the sweethearts would surprise us with upset after spectacular upset. The power couple with the boundless love for bloodshed. The champions of Madame M, Cloud, and Eric! this rather low. I was looking forward to a little temper tantrum. When you bet it all on a toss, sometimes you get burned by Lady Luck. Every coin has two sides. You're right, of course, even if they are both the same. <laughs> Later. And now? I believe I have a prize to collect. Sorry. The madam will have to wait. The Don's demanding that we tack on one more match, it seems. What? If they win out, then you get paid in full. Now hold on just a goddamn minute. His call, not mine. <laughs> now that that's over, we can go save Tifa. So we'll head back to Madam M's, get you changed, and then it's off to Corneo's. Right. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but you still have one fight left. What do you mean? The crowd loved your show a little too much. People are placing hefty bets, much heftier than you can possibly imagine. Corneo's going to milk this for as much as he can. Meaning what? You face and defeat Corneo's fighter of choice, and only then will you be declared winners of the tournament. Hey, that wasn't the deal. Don't you think I know that? Ah! You greedy bastard, scum-sucking piece of shit festering asshole! Uh... <sighs> but that's the way it is. Corneo's the one who makes the rules around here. 
But if you win this match, Corneo will have to accept your victory. And the crowd will make sure he does. So this is the last one? <laughs> I sure hope so. Watching you guys fight gave me goosebumps. Hope your next match is even better than the last. Ready to kick ass? It's not even about the money anymore, man. I just want you guys to win it all. Show them what you got. Tonight's Corneo Cup has been a spectacle like no other. And we shared your disappointment, ladies and gentlemen, when we told you that it was coming to an end. But nobody felt it more keenly than one time Corneo, who has decided that a bonus match is in order! <laughs> Participating in this match will be this evening's leading lights, the dynamic duo that has crushed all competition thus far, Cloud and Eric! Set free tonight for your entertainment! The secret star of Don Cuneo's stellar stable! Enter the Hell House! Huh? Just a house. It's no ordinary house. The manifestation of pure evil versus the most badass couple this side of Midgar. Have you ever seen a fight more incredible, more epic? You have not. No, sir, you have not. They'll be singing songs about tonight for generations to come. Keep your eyes glued to the action, ladies and gentlemen. The Cups fight final battle begins now! For all the battlers join! And already I can tell you this bonus man will snap at the point! Go on! The people on this the meanest of the mean! The meanest of the mean! But I may have to go out the hell Deal with that. I'm coming! Who will come out on top? Don't have to go! Oh, 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 oh. The stunning turn of events! The Hellhound! That comes to a complete stop! Buckle up! Go on! Wait! <laughs> it's almost disappointing. No. Not yet. Yeah. 
gentlemen, but this is big! Oh, 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 don't overdo it. I'll show you what I can do. Enjoy the ride. Cotton <laughs> little stuff. Stay back. Little <laughs> the sky. I'm so cute. I could die. <laughs> you jittery? Why do you stand there? Just, just go away. That's it. <laughs> One more shot. Okay. <laughs> Can you take over for me? Here goes. Feeling chilly? It's your turn. My turn. Try this. Showing an interest in someone. What will you do?
There you are. I've been looking for you two. So Madam M wanted me to give you a message. She says you guys did pretty damn good and that you should swing by her shop when you're done here. Got it? I was also hoping you might be interested in a few more matches here at the Coliseum. Big events like the Corneo Cup are pretty sporadic, but there's always action if you want to get a piece. You're here. Good. I have everything I need to get started. Just one thing before we do. You're the Cloud, right? Cloud the Merc. I'm told you did a wonderful job helping the people of Sector 5. <laughs> you have a very impressive work ethic. It's like they say, good things come to those who work. What goes around comes around, and in ways that might surprise you. <laughs> I'm going to put Aerith in the most gorgeous dress you've ever seen. <laughs> It'll be a real jaw-dropper. All right, now that that's out of the way, once you change, you won't be able to leave town. Are you sure you're ready? All right, then. Let's get started. Beauty takes a lot of work and preparation. Far more than you'd know. In the meantime, let me see, let me think. You look like you haven't experienced the best of what this town has to offer. That really won't do. Not interested. <laughs> then maybe you can show the town what you have to offer instead. Which is to say, why don't you try putting those finely honed mercenary skills of yours to good use here in Wall Market? I have a few little requests that you might be able to help out with. <laughs> I gave that hand extra special treatment. Now get out there and show me what you can do with it. <laughs> and that's enough of that. Aerith, come with me. Oh boy, I can't wait to see the dress. The dress is part of it, sure. But we'll also need to do something about that plain Jane makeup and hairdo. This is gonna take some work. Ouch! Well, I'll see you later, Cloud. Peek, and I'll poke out your eyes. So you're the new Merc looking for work in Wall Market. Maybe you can help us sort this out. Some criminals have stolen a shipment of donations bound for the Leaf House. 
the fiends? The culprit is none other than the notorious Angel of the Slums. People worship her as some kind of folk hero, but there's no denying she's the one that done did it. I mean, look at this calling card. The Garden Angle 3? Well, they must have meant to write Guardian Angel. Oh, come on, Garden Angle. Listen to me. I guarantee this is not the work of the Angel. I saw it with my own eyes. Three shady-looking types wandering around, scouting their mark, I bet. Well, if you're so sure, then bring them here. Prove to me this wasn't the work of your beloved Guardian Angel. You heard the man, Merc. I've got to find those thieves to clear the Angel's name, and I need your help to do it. She would never, ever do anything to harm the less fortunate. Find the three I saw and bring them here to me. They ran off toward the old expressway on the other side of Evergreen Park. An angel strikes again, suckers! <laughs> and all it took was one fake card. Too easy. Sucks to be you, Miss Angel. So we're stealing your name. Hey, it's you! What the hell are you doing coming after us? Shit! Oh, my god! My god! Shut up! It's too late for that! <laughs> Bring it! We're ready for you this time! Wakey, wakey! Time to shine! <laughs> Check out this brick shit house. We picked him up at the Coliseum. Gonna pay you back double, nah, quadruple for what you've done to us. What's a drupal? Uh, uh, what are we doing? Huh? Shut up! We're kicking Blondie's ass for being an ass! <laughs> I'm waiting. with me. These are the angels of the slums? Oh man, you're real stupid! We're the garden angels! Get it right! Shut your trap, moron! Huh. You don't honestly think that the beloved angel of the slums could be any of these three idiots, do you? Nah. I recognize the masks. These guys are just small-time crooks who've been pestering folks around here for a minute. Should have listened to you earlier. Sorry about this. Well, you should be sorry. I'll consider us square. 
once you've taught these boys a lesson. Deal. All right, get moving. Hey, watch it! Not so rough, you lummox. Yeah, you lummox, you lump nuts. So what about the donations? Do you need help taking them to the leaf house? Kind of you to offer, but I can manage on my own. I know these streets like the back of my hand. Better, even. It's the angel of the slums. She took the darn stuff. He's gonna be pissed. Well, I'll be seeing you. <laughs> Thanks to you, we can put this mess behind us. I'm grateful. The guardian angel of the slums. Radiant defender of the downtrodden? Huh. Wonder if I'm an accomplice. Bony Thanks frame for coming. of yours, and welcome to our humble training hall. Jules, head trainer. If you've got some time to spare, how about a little bit of fun? Want to try taking on one of our guys? <laughs> You're not serious, are you? Look at him. He's a scrawny little thing. I could snap him like a twig. Now, now. I wouldn't judge this one by his muscle mass. What do you say, Cloud? If you want to give it a go, just let me know. So, you up for a round? Ha! You're taking me on? You look like a dried up old terpsichord left out in the sun. You got no idea what you're getting into, little man. All right, enough talk. We'll settle this the tried and true traditional way. A squat off. Now, let's all see what you've got. Now don't go crying a month. people by their build. That and your overtrained ego are the main reasons you lost to our bold challenger here. Thanks for helping me teach my boys a valuable lesson. And sorry for dragging you into it. Cloud, we're all one big family here at this gym. And now you're part of it. If you're ever up for training, our doors are always open to you. Let's work together to maintain healthy minds and bodies. Yeah! That's enough of that. Should we'll probably get back to Madame M's. That's what counts. Can't. Keep going. Yeah, monster. Hot 
you like a piping hot bun. I think this is where they said to me. Why, hey there, champ. Got word from Madame M. She said you had time to kill before Aerith's ready for the big event. So, uh, what do you say to taking on a little extra work while you're waiting around? We've got a hell of a lot of fans clamoring to see their favorite champ go another round or ten. And something tells me they're not gonna rest until they see you kick ass again. Now get on down to the Coliseum ASAP! Here he is, the man of the hour. Stands are packed thanks to you. Now get out there and give him a show. This challenger wanted another bite at the champ. One of Sam's favorite machines of mayhem, Buddy. He's been sharpening his blades and dreaming of payback. Can our champ come out on top again? Fighters, begin! on her hair right now. I thought I'd take the opportunity to drop by and watch her match. <laughs> I have to admit, I never get tired of seeing Sam's precious toys take a beating. <sighs> All right. I can tell by your hands you've come a long way. You're the hands of a fighter who has found new purpose. A woman or two? I wonder. Just doing what I've always done. <laughs> anyway, Aerith should be finishing up soon. I'll go on ahead to check on her. Whenever you're ready, come back to the parlor.
Think you're too good for my fun? I think this is where he's at, man. No! Cloud! Finally! Tifa! She... I... Tifa! She, she's... I don't... Take a deep breath. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon. And Tifa's... Tifa's gonna be... I just... I, I don't know what to do. Well, I do. I'll come too! Hey, Cloud! Bro! I can call you bro, right? Nope. Just wanna say, bro, that I'm totally relieved that you're looking out for Tifa. Cool. <laughs> So, like, how'd you get so strong anyway, bro? You know, what I said. The way you fight, bro, is like poetry and violence. Beep, beep, whoosh, whoosh. You know, I really wish I could be just like you. My problem is that I tend to overthink and overanalyze it. Well, this is it for me. Call me crazy, but uh, I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. Go find Aerith at Madame M's. Tell her to wait for me there when she's done. Think you can handle that? Yes, sir! You again? Got that letter of approval you mentioned. Hmm? You know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, it's for Aerith. Who? Oh, that girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. Well, either way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. Huh? Wouldn't try it if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind up being the girl you're trying so hard to break out. Or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I wouldn't. This is so gaudy and impossible to move in. Uh, 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 yeah. Cloud? Uh, uh, excuse me. Huh. Hey, wait a minute. Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition. No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. See what, exactly? According to Madame M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone, and they'd like to meet in person. Huh? Look 
at you all dolled up and fabulous. Where are you headed? Well, what do we have here? You're quite the pretty little lady. She's not bad at all. What? Say that again. Don't be like that. You're still the most beautiful. Hey there, cutie. Where are you headed? Why don't you let me buy you a cup of coffee? I give her a pink for ever. That dress is completely overshadowed. She's like a beautiful flower. This is it. Your destiny. Why are we here? To see the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea and convince him to give you his stamp of approval. You said you didn't want me going alone, right? Well, with Andrea's help, you can join me. It'll be fun. And honestly, I think you'll look pretty cute in a dress. What? It's pretty rare for Andrea to take a personal interest in someone. At least, that's what Madame M said. Trust me, this is gonna work out great. Uh... Come on! Don't you want to save Tifa? Wait. No can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madame M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sound good? So, you a topsider? Good evening. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honeybee Inn. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed to send you through without delay, sir. Please, make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. Andrea shows transcend beauty and entertainment. I've tripped up this moment. The honeybee is. Uh -huh. And here's the man of the hour. Chosen by Andrea himself, our honored guest. This is your first time, right? It's okay. Do you want to practice your dance moves first? Why would I want to do that? Andrea thought it might be a good idea. Over here, come on now. Hey, hold on. Mister, move over, girls. A new dancer's come to town. Come on, come on. The show's about to start. <laughs> my, my. Is that Cloud? Mm. Darling, I had no idea. <laughs> you now you just sit tight until Andrea takes the stage. Look at his muscles. Ah, oh, he's flushing. Sweet here at the honey bee in every moment is a tree.
Welcome to the Hungry Hill, Cloud. You seek my approval, do you? I understand. But those who crave my favor must first prove that they know how to move. Follow my lead. Yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin!
Without shame, to which notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid. That show today blew my mind. Hey, look at me! I could dance too. How much did you drink Just tonight? Come over I here. can't help it. It was amazing. Drink. Oh, wow. Was it planned from the now start? That was or a show. Not? Did you see their look of surprise? Yoo-hoo, Cloud, hello? Aerith to Cloud, come in! 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 Please don't. Not a word. Not even one? No! But you're so you're pretty! Like beautiful flower. What do you say? It's getting pretty late. Mm, such beauty is the spice of love. Hey, come here. Come here. Look at the new hire. Whoa! She is the most beautiful girl in the world. Whoa! That is one hot chick. from Andrea Rodea and Madam M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so, come on. The two of you here for the audition? Second floor, at the very end of the walk. And don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. That one's Madam M's girl, ain't it? And she's hot. That Andrea's girl? I'd let her do things to me. Room's at the end. Keep walking. So dizzy. Gas. Uh, uh. Come on. Damn it. Cloud. Hey, pretty ladies, do Feeling a little lightheaded? Better turn on that. Let's say we escort you to the parlor so you can make yourself more comfortable. Let's get this show on the road. Where are you taking us? Come on now. Let's be lazy. Hey, hey, there's a pig, asshole. Hey, hell. You want to throw down the Corneo curve? So if you leave a mark on him, you ain't getting off with a man. I know. Man, it's really got some real lookers this time, though. Oh, son. Can you hear me? Oh. Tifa? Yes? You okay? Mm-hmm. 
Good. Wait a minute. <gasps> Cloud? Is that you? Oh my god, that makeup! And that dress! Nailed it, I know, thank you. Moving on. <sighs> you good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. <sighs> hey Tifa, how you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith. A friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks? Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. No! Not until I got what I came for. What? So, after we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time, but then I realized I'd only be one of three candidates, and that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <sighs> so what happens now? I think they'll call for us when it's time. This room gives me the creeps. No? Now ladies, listen up! I'm sure you're still feeling a bit woozy, but tonight's audition's about to begin! Head out the door to the left and up the stairs! Come on ladies, let's hustle! Alright guys, let's do this. <laughs> do you want to do this? Okay, my beautiful ladies, time to line up for the dawn. <sighs> hmm. Hmm? Wait, you look kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Mm -mm. Uh, whatever. All right, y'all good to go? Then let's do this thing. Introducing Walmart's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Ladies? Uh. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? Mm. Oh. Shall I pick you? <laughs> or maybe you? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah! Today's bride to be is... Today's? And tomorrow's, or the day after's, if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Hey, which one of you said that? 
Was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you. I'm going to enjoy breaking it in. Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. Huh? Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. Oh, yeah. The leftovers are all yours. Yeah! yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, ladies. Y'all come with me. Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give Daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh, you're even cuter than I thought. Back off. Woo! <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> what was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> Hey, yo, fellas! We got guests, and y'all huh? got first crack at entertaining them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself, never forget the Don provides. Yeah. Corneo! <laughs> so, ladies, ready to. Get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Mm. Four guys between us. Okay. Let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum! <laughs> what the hell? Get down! Don't <laughs> 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 oh, you stupid! Oh, wait! Good job, Aerith. It was nothing compared to you. <laughs> Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts with you. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Uh, thank you! Okay, let's go rescue Cloud. Corneo's good, right? Better hurry. Man, I'd love to spend some quality time because like that. Bet they're going at it. Right now. Lucky bastard. What are you doing here? Huh. Hey, That's hey, it! You two, yeah. Why don't you lead the I way? This one's for you! Ah. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. <laughs> Don't stop! Tell me what you a bad boy I bastard. am! <laughs> yes, yes I am! Here I come, baby! <laughs> <laughs> hey, who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners! Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners too. What the? Cloud, your clothes! <laughs> oh. 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 <gasps> so you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? 
Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right! I'll talk, I'll talk! <sighs> uh, some guy with a gun for an arm! I was paid to find him! Paid by who? I can't tell you that! They'd hunt me down like a dog! Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip them off! <laughs> it was the director of public security, Heidegger! It was Heidegger! Shinra! And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid, you know? See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crashing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7's gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? Oh, I'm sorry! Time's up! The answer lies... In the sewers. <laughs> Enjoy the sights and smells. <laughs> are we on schedule? <laughs> the Turks are on top of it. Yes, there will be no delays. Please, Mr. President, I am asking you to reconsider. No, begging. The Sector 7 Undercity is home to more than 50,000... <sighs> Director Tuesty. At least let us issue a warning, sir. The stench of the Director's cowardice fills the room yet again. <clears throat> Breathe. Progress requires sacrifice. Learn to live with it. Damn it, Reeks. Tifa? to get back to the slums right now yeah i didn't want to drag Aerith into all this she'll understand 
How do you two know each other? I saved her. She saved me. Round and round it goes. And that's all there is to it? Sure there isn't something else going on? Mm. Get him! lives down here, or...? Was probably Corneo's pet. And we were dinner. <laughs> hey, you don't believe that crazy story of his, do you? Shinra wouldn't sacrifice a whole sector just to take out Avalanche, would they? Destroying part of the city 
Killing all those people just to get at us? I don't know. Is Corneo the kind of guy who'd make up shit just to screw with you? I wouldn't put it past him. But if he was telling the truth, hmm? and there's still a chance he was, isn't there, then we should go. And if it turns out he was lying, then so what? Right? Mm. Mm. Hmm? Uh, uh. Tifa! I knew it. These tunnels are all connected. What is it? I'm pretty sure we can use these tunnels to make our way back to Sector 7. The sewers under Sector 6 and 7 should be connected. If you get in trouble, just follow the stench. Another one of those lessons? An avalanche thing, actually. We use them to move around the Undercity, in emergencies. Sure we're not lost? Positive. There should be a big waterway just up ahead. Let's find that first. Lead the way. Uh, Here it comes. You literally? Just like that, okay? I got gotcha. you.
Guess I gotta. Is it safe to go through here? It's really dark. I'm sure we'll be fine. Come on. Hey, Cloud. Assuming Corneo was telling us the truth, what do you think Shinra's really up to? I mean, they've got to have an endgame. But I can't imagine what it is. Destroying a whole chunk of the city just to get back at us doesn't make any kind of sense. Yeah, I can't imagine any way they could profit from it. It's gonna cost them a fortune to rebuild. Corneo's lying. He's gotta be. Guys like him do it all the time out of habit. Locked up tight. <sighs> but not if we use the skeleton key Jesse made. Huh. Does this mean it's in the water? We'll see. That's a power generator, all right. Wow, talk about ancient. It's an antique, older than the Mako reactors even. It'd be a miracle if it still works. Is it? Wait a minute. I know this place. Sector 7 should be just on the other side of this waterway. So this is where Sector 6 ends. And where Sector 7 begins. Once we cross over, we can start looking for a way back to the surface. Might be harder than you think. Let's just try to make our way down this tunnel. See if we can't use those gates to clear a path. We can do this. We'll figure it out. Yeah, for sure.
go. Just like that, okay? I got gotcha. Stop thinking about what Corneo said. I know. Me too. It's gotta be a trick. There's no way they'd go that far. But... But what if Corneo really was telling the truth? We have to get there in time to stop it. We have to. Right. <sighs> Aerith, what are you not telling me? Huh? Uh... Guys, come on. We gotta keep moving. Coming! I'll go first. Mm. least I could do. Hear that, Cloud? Mm. Mm. Come on. Mm. 
focus. Still thinking about the plate? Yeah. The future isn't set in stone. That's what I always tell myself. Yeah. I hope you're right. How about this then? Think of something fun. After saving Sector 7, you're gonna... I'm gonna... Go shopping. Topside. I'll buy stuff for the bar. Decorations. Coasters. Can I come? You'd better. Then it's a date. <laughs> <laughs> Cloud can carry all her stuff. He'll be our pack chocobo. <laughs> what was that about me? Nothing. Sorry about that. No need to be. Won't be tough. Here we go. Just Going in. Not bad.
Leave this to me. I don't think so. be some way we can lower the water level. <gasps> Guys, check it out. Seventh Heaven's water tank has something similar. I'm betting we can use this to control the sewage level. Hey, Cloud. You want to give it a try? This ought to drain the water. Right? No luck? Must be busted. A red light indicates a blockage, apparently. We can use the hand pump to clear the blockage. Sounds about right. I remember having to do this at the bar before. All right. I'll... Aerith, you mind giving me a hand? Cloud, you stay put. Keep an eye out for more red lights. Wait, I'm not sure... Trust me, this is the best way to handle it. We'll be back soon. different from the one at the bar. More... industrial? Yeah. <laughs> 
Try to stay in sync. <laughs> Probably getting worried. Nicely done. We make a great team. Go team! Don't hold back. You got it! <laughs> Understood. The Avalanche mission's been approved. 
We ought to proceed as planned. <sighs> this is bullshit. What the hell are they thinking? Threats to public order are to be summarily put down. This is what we've always done. Summarily put down. It's a little late to grow a conscience. <sighs> Just on patrol. Don't worry, we'll make it in time. <laughs> 